Hello everybody! Welcome back to Seeking Happy. I am Madi and today we're going to be doing another Korean snack haul. In true fashion, I'm going to be ridiculously late. I hope you've seen the first part of this. We are doing Halloween Korean snacks. <laughs> very, very, very late. So we broke this up into two videos, an orange theme and a black theme, and today we're doing the black and I'm so excited because they just look so cool. So this is one of the only um like outrightly halloween edition candies that i found when we went shopping which is why i decided to just do orange and black theme so we've got these delicious pandas which we have not tried the chocolate before we've got this is gonna be a good one we've got kit kats and i believe these are just dark chocolate i might have to look at these this packaging again yeah dark chocolate kit kat the packaging is so cool on those We've got Cheetos. This is going to be such a freaking good addition. And this is the flavor right here. So it is not like the normal like black um, spicy Cheetos that we have here in America in the like free Walmart and stuff like that. We have delicious coffee candies. They look delicious. The, pa the like packaging reminds me of Werther's. It's very, like, pleasant. I like it. <laughs> um, so we're going to do those. Those are, like, really calling to me. I don't know why I'm, like, very extremely excited about those. And we always want to do a drink. So we've got bubble tea in a can. This one is brown sugar with the tapioca pearls. It is a large can, see? And... Ooh, those little dots weird me out, you know? Oh, we have to shake well before drinking. We gotta remember to do that. So there is our haul. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna go through and open every single one of these. We're gonna describe them to you the best we can, rate them, and at the end we're picking our favorite one. So let's clear all of this out and let's get our first snack. Okay, we're going to bring in our straight up Halloween snacks first. So these are Hello Pandas. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys have probably tried Hello Pandas before because they do sell them in the main stores, but I had never. So we tried the strawberry ones, I think, before recently, right? But um, this no, one. No, it was vanilla one. Oh, vanilla, that's right, because yeah, it was very plain. Uh, I definitely did this wrong because I'm now yeah. seeing that there are instructions. <laughs> oh, shoot. But I got into the goods, so <laughs> that's what counts. Now we've got chocolate, which I am very excited. I think that's going to be a good one. So cream center in a... So it's like a, a chocolate-filled little cookie. Bite size. So cute. Okay. And these have little cute pictures on them and everything. Let's get a look in the bag. So we've got like five little cookies. Here you go, boop. This is how they look. Look at that, it's got a little Frankenstein. Mm, Why was that difficult? Blurry. <laughs> that one is not a winner. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat this one. <laughs> mm, oh my god. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't really break it for you, but it is fudge filled. So you got some chocolate right there. I'm surprised. It's a very thin, delicious, light, crisp cookie. It's not like 90% cookie and then like hard chocolate inside. <laughs> this is like, they have done, okay, now I see why they're carried everywhere because they've done really well. With the, like, texture, sweetness, and proportion of this snack. Delicious outside the... Ba the outside is uh, what I would say is kind of similar to, like, a vanilla wafer. Like, the kind that you have with, like, banana puddings. Except mm -hmm. so much softer. Light and crisp. So. I mean... What would you say it's like? The outside has, like, no flavor almost. It's really boring and, like... Like an animal cracker. No. Like, even less, like... Mm -hmm. It's more like a cracker cracker. Unsalted cracker. And then you bite into it, and then you get all the sweetness of the filling, and it's really good. Really good yeah. mixture. Yeah, and this is a nice, soft milk chocolate. It tastes delicious inside. Tastes like frosting. Mm -hmm. Not as sweet, but the same 
similar taste as frosting. So good. Mm. Okay. What do you rate it? A nine. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to rate it a ten. That was beautiful. Perfect. Can't get any better than that. Well, we'll see. We have a lot of snacks to try. <laughs> Let's pull up the next one. Okay, the next one we're going to do is our beautiful coffee candy. I am so excited because this picture just looks like very decadent to me. Doesn't it? I don't know why. It's like, looks so attractive to me right now. So let's go ahead and break in. I feel like I cut one of the candies open. Maybe not. So this is the way they look inside. That is the back, actually. Here is the front. This looks like a Warhead wrapper, which also makes me excited to try it. Ooh. Okay. Uh-oh. It's hard candy. hard candy. Oh, my gosh. So, let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is how it looks inside. It does look like it, kind of like a caramel, but... It tastes familiar. It looks like yeah, it it's before. hard. It's some kind of coffee-flavored hard candy that I've had before, but I can't remember. That's not Werther's? Do they make a coffee one? They do. They make a coffee flavor. Then, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yes, but this is like grown-up coffee. I feel like the Werther's coffee tastes like a cappuccino, like very milky and yeah. very sweet. I already and... feel like I'm getting that caffeine headache. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this just tastes like a black cup of coffee. Mm, -hmm. mm but like delicious. Like whenever... Like, I feel like I can, like, taste the roast of the coffee. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Mm. This totally will take, like, a year to eat, though, because it has no give to it. It's a totally hard candy, and it's, like, quite a brick. It doesn't feel like it's being worn away or anything. So it'll be there for a moment, which, again, is good if you want a long-lasting candy. That is so delicious to me. Mm. I feel like I could have this like after a meal and feel very satisfied. What do you rate it, babe? Four. What? You don't like it? No. <laughs> We're so different. Um, I'm actually going to go 10. This is going to be a new favorite of mine. I'm going to want to keep these in stock. That was so good. Okay. We set that aside, and next we are going to be doing our Kit Kat. So, look at this beautiful packaging. If you can't tell, it is like paper. It's like a matte paper bag. Origami. So pretty. Yeah. They On the other ones, they show you how to like fold it when you're done. Oh. Um, this one is not very detailed, but you're still supposed to do it, I guess. Oh, shoot. I tore it. Just a little bit. You are green. <laughs> okay, so this is the way they look inside. Very similar to the coffee. Really beautiful black packaging. Look at that. It looks so sleek, especially with the red of the logo. And this down here is just like very dramatic. Just the little white on top of the sleek black packaging. Oh, and look, they have a little... I love when they have like the little... Uh, message center in the back. Really cute. Yeah, these things are. Uh, so let's see inside. What are they melted? No, they're glued to like not be open, unlike the U.S. versions. Oh. Those are pretty good. No problem. I did not. <laughs> it smells good. Here we go. I always love to see that Kit Kat emblem. I just like things that are like embossed or debossed or anything. I don't like that there's a hole in it. I don't like that at all. <laughs> But there it is. It's a little bit of a light color. That might be because it's been in storage for a little longer than it should have. Let's give that a break for you guys. There it is. It is just a little bit of a darker tone than normal. Mm. It's also very less sweet than a typical Kit Kat. Mm, it's like Kit Kats for adults. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It's pretty toned down. Actually, you know what? I don't like it. <laughs> There's not anything bad. It doesn't have any strong taste. Like, when I was young, I used to hate dark chocolate. I felt like it had such a bitter taste. I don't feel that way about this. 
it tastes fine but it just tastes very bland to me like I need the sweetness of the milk chocolate but if you like dark chocolate then here you go these are made just for you so what do you think babe seven. on the rating a seven I'm gonna give it a three for me personally mm. wasn't the best you can finish mine <laughs> But um, it does just taste, you know, like a Kit Kat. If you are a big Kit Kat fan and you like dark chocolate, then that's definitely going to be one that will work for you. All right, let's go ahead and grab a drink after that. So this one is our bubble tea. Again, it is supposed to have the tapioca in it. I have not seen these here in a can. Oh, we're supposed to shake well. And then um, I'll shake it a little more, but <laughs> try to talk. Um... We didn't have this chilled, but since it's such a cold day here, it's snow day in San Antonio. Unbelievable. Um, maybe shake it a little more. <laughs> Am I the only one that obsesses about what very well means in regards to shaking? So anyways, the can is actually pretty chilled, so I think we'll be okay here. <clears throat> Ooh, looks like a nice cappuccino color. Let me let you have a view there we go and let me take a sip okay i was trying to uh hide like my <laughs> yeah she only um, reacts when she likes something she can't help herself so when she says i'm gonna try not to react that means she doesn't like it <laughs> did you like it i did mm, you can have it <laughs> so it's brown sugar flavor but i feel like it tastes like coffee a little bit yeah. but i would say it's the exact opposite of what happened with the candies with the hard candies <laughs> yeah oh because you liked it yeah <laughs> with the candies i felt like this was all like uh like a black cup of coffee like whoo very strong coffee except not truly because i can't drink maybe like a black cup of coffee with sugar but no creamer or anything this tastes coffee like but it tastes like all creamer and sugar and like a tablespoon of coffee mm -hmm. oh kind of like that um that tiktok coffee what was it called that everybody was drinking where you had to whip the coffee for like an hour it tastes kind of like that like all sweetener and stuff which you would think i'd like but it's uh it's not sweet it's not sweet enough oddly enough <laughs> it's just not coffee enough either but that is understandable because it's not coffee flavor it's brown sugar flavor okay babe what do you rate that one um an eight mm, high marks high marks um i'm not opposed to it it's just for me as an underperformer i'm gonna rate it a six just a little pleasant but i definitely i don't think could drink the whole can i mean i guess maybe if i was like sitting in being on the computer or something um <laughs> and that leaves us with our last one which is our cheeto bag i'm kind of in a way gonna be sad that these aren't spicy unless they are a little spicy but i think they'll just be savory here is the back so i really don't know exactly what we're getting but we'll see let's open it right up this is the way they look. They are not a fiery color. They're a nice golden Cheeto. Ooh, really nice. And they just are the texture that Cheetos are normally. Oh, oh, very seasony, very savory. And very like sweet too. Yeah. Okay, it's, it tastes like straight up ramen. It tastes like licking the ramen pack, like the ramen powder out of the pack. Yeah. Because these are very strong. Like mm -hmm. how I said I like everything to have like an extreme flavor. These are, it's packed on there. Mm. And I feel like they're, they're more airy. Like the corn. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of like I could see that. easier. Yeah. I could see that too. A little bit of a fluffier Cheeto. Mm -hmm. They are ridiculously good to me. Mm. they're not i don't think they're spicy but i feel like i kind of expect the spiciness at the end of the flavor because they're a little bit spicy it's so bit. savory it's so like sunburn. yeah i think the more you eat it'll start it starts coming in a little bit but for the most part it just tastes like delicious like chicken and gravy 
Mm, it tastes delicious. It's so delicious, so savory, like a like a meal. Yeah, you know what? It's a weird spice. I'm getting like the little like piercing at the end. Yeah. Like just that piercing taste in the back of my tongue, not like an all over heat. Really interesting. So delicious. So good. I think on the, yeah, on the package there, it shows like some garlic and stuff. Garlic and miscellaneous vegetables of some sort. Um, yeah, that's what it tastes like because kind of like all the delicious peppers that come with like a fajita plate or something. <laughs> That's what it is. Mmm. It's so good. Very, very flavorful. If you like things to have an intense flavor, then that's going to be a good one for you. Look, he's acting like it's hot. Yeah. He's yeah. got flames. <laughs> what do you rate it? Um, I'm going to go with a 10 on these. <clears throat> Eight for me. Mmm. I could see snacking on these like... I feel like these would be more addictive to me than regular Cheetos because of the flavor. Because of the, like, um, the flavor is more like a meal. So I feel like I, I wouldn't get tired of the taste as quickly. Okay, and that's everything. So let's go ahead and take a look back at it all. Raj, what is your favorite? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I guess I'll go with... We had some good ones in here. Of the Cheetos. Ooh! You know what? They're my favorite too. But I will say the pandas were great. Bees were really, really, really good. But those Cheetos were just so delicious, man. Those are spot on for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this very late Halloween edition. Maybe you needed some Halloween feels in your life. It wasn't that spooky. Yeah, I could have just. Halloween. Oh yeah, I'll I'll have to label it Halloween this could so y'all can come. We don't know. <laughs> okay, if you haven't, make sure you leave me a nice comment letting me know where you're watching from, um, because I'm always curious to see who you guys are, where you're from, and you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.